Hello everyone, welcome. Onesie is here. Today we're gonna be having a look at Pokemon Go Fest 2023 Global Go Fest. Yes, it is coming on 26th of August and 27th of August 2023. This event is going to be epic and everyone's gonna enjoy it. If you got the ticket, it is very good. If you don't have the ticket, it's all right. You guys can still play, but you guys not going to get that much uh, encounters on shinies and this and that. But anyway, let's go and have a look at this Pokemon Go Fest Global. Over 70 Pokemon will appear during this event. Lucky Trainer might even encounter shiny Pokemon making their Pokemon Go debuts. Oh, oh wow. Can't wait for that one the featured highlights oh my god featured highlights it's nothing other than mega diancy makes its pokemon go debut well i have mine already in in person go fest but in pokemon go global go fest i will get another one a double diancy debut that's right after appearing for the first time in person go fest 2023 events in london osaka and new york city diancy mega evolution mega diancy will make its worldwide debut for ticket holding trainers during the during go fest global can't wait for that one okay we're gonna go through saturday what's happening on saturday Saturday is going to be all trainers can enjoy the following during Pokemon Go Fest 2023 global whether they have ticket or not like I said if you have a ticket or not you guys can enjoy this global Go Fest but if you have a ticket it's even better because you have that special features all right so special Pokemon will appear in the wild for all trainers Special Pokemon will appear in four unique habitats which will rotate hourly during the event. So they done it again. Last year also they done it like this and this year also they're doing it. Uh, for example, let's say Quartzy Terrarium. I can't pronounce for sure. All these Pokemon here will be available. And they have a little bit of timing. What time these... Um, Habitat's gonna switch. So 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. QRT Terrarium. I think I'm gonna have a difficulty pronouncing this one. Uh, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. local time. And Pyrite Sand. 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. in your local time. Malachit Wilderness. 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. And Aquamarine shows. And sounds like a water Pokemon base. So that's going to be from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. And 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. So anyway, let's go and have a look at Pyrite Sands. So all these Pokemon here is going to be available. A lot of shiny chances. And Grubbin and Helioptile. I can't pronounce that Pokemon, but it will be available. And also Timber will be available in the wild as well. So if you guys are looking for some good timber and you'll be able to catch that all right let's go and have a look at malachit wilderness we will get some good pokemon here caterpie if you guys are looking for evolution you can save all the caterpies from there and do a evolution spree uh pikachu wearing a malachit crown is going to be available there wow they have so many different pikachus available so this one's going to be wearing courtesy crown on courtesy hour and pyrite's uh crown on pirate hour malachit on malachit crown oh damn and also they have a aquamarine crown as well so these are like different colors on the crown so you can easily identify it so as you can see here on this malachit wilderness you'll be able to catch all these pokemon so ferro seed is going to be the best one there for a lot of uh, pvp folks and Snorlax with the cowboy hat is coming back as well. It will be nice to have that one. And when you go to Aquamarine one, the best one you can 
you guys can get is nothing other than a beldum shiny beldum will be nice to have we haven't had a shiny beldum in a long time but it will be good to have that as well as west shallow is going to be shiny as well let's scroll all the way down and see what we got here next the following pokemon will appear in raids okay so one star raid you can see all the pikachus wearing the crowns with different color on the crown will be available and uh, gumi is going to be available as well to raid uh two star raids is going to be carbink carbink is for the pvp folks and if you guys want to get a good carbink uh yeah this is the best one to do as well as well as it's going to be available in research task as well all right and three stars nothing other than snorlax with a cowboy hat that can be shiny and wow primal raids will be available for uh during this go fest so primal kyogre and primal groudon is going to be available so make sure you get your primal energy sorted during this period the featured highlights all right so the featured highlights mega requiser makes its global pokemon debut pokemon go debut in raids so a lot of people will be able to get that one so i think it's, it's for the ticketed people so uh so you'll get the mega energy so on and so forth and new shoes will be available in pokemon go shops i believe uh but anyway pokemon go fest t-shirts mega requires a design revealed as well and mythical glimmering dnc makes its global debut and so on and so forth there's a lot of information there i'll leave the link to this uh, website it's in pokemongolive.com so you guys should be able to see that let's go to sunday what's happening on sunday sunday all trainers can enjoy the following during pokemon go fest 2023 go 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 fest yeah boy can't wait for this uh whether they have the ticket or not mega Rukaiza makes its global pokemon go debut trainers participate in the global event will be able to find the meteorite and a new item in pokemon go via special research this meteorite seems to have some connection with mega requires so basically what happens is um, if you don't know you use a meteorite to learn a move mega requires then after that you should be able to mega evolve it before that you won't be able to make a revolve so make sure you uh do the research task that way you can uh obtain the meteorites all right trainers who have the tickets to go fest 2023 global will have additional opportunities to re receive meteorites while special research stars on sunday so people with the ticket you'll be able to get an additional one that's awesome all right so now we can see the featured attack the meteorite found during the Pokemon Go Fest 2023 Global seems to have a connection to Rayquaza and powerful new attack. Trainers who give Rayquaza a meteorite will find it can learn the charge attack Dragon Ascend, not Descend, Ascend. Only Rayquaza that knows Dragon Ascend will be able to Mega Evolve when given Rayquaza Mega Energy all right so you there's two things you need to know about this so you need to meteorite your best requiser in order for it to mega evolve all right otherwise you won't be able to mega evolve all right so let's go and have a look at wild encounters all pokemon that appears in the wild during the first day of the event will also appear during the event hours on the second day so you'll be getting the same same thing on the next day as well as well as there's going to be a, a mega requaza available there so so while you're doing your mega requazas uh you guys can uh farm and get more shinies during that period anyway so let's go and have a look at the raids for day two sunday so first day is going to be crown pikachus all four of them and gumi and day two is going to be carbink day three cowboy hat pikachu Chew, not Pikachu, sorry. So Cowboy hat, Snow Lights. Love to get a Shundo on that one. That would be epic. And Mega Raid is going to be Mega Rayquaza. And obviously, it's going, there's going to be Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon is going to be available from 10 a.m. to 
11 a.m local time so remember that time and if you need any of that make sure you get that and bonus bonuses and features all trainers can enjoy the following during the go fest in global go fest whether they have the ticket or not bonuses all trainers receive following bonuses and rewards during event so lower module will be activated for one hour that's a normal thing two times friendship bonus damage in raids so make sure you raid with your friends so that way you can get these requires and all these raid bosses down quick as possible as well as what do you get next trainers will be able to enjoy field research themed around different pokemon habitats oh that'll be sick there will be no limit on remote raid between saturday 26 12 a.m to sunday 27th uh, 11 59 p.m local time so make sure you guys if you can't go out and do the things so you guys can do remote raids it's unlimited for a lot of people so i'm guessing there's no limit for it so just go ham on it if you if you guys can't make it uh to the global go fest on foot but if you're at home stuck or doing uh, some sort of covid problems or whatnot you can at least do the uh, requires raids and stuff like that with your remote raids and also you get to have featured attacks during this period so you if you evolve a butterfree you get this bug bite as a fast attack sand slash you will learn night slash as a fast attack when you evolve it and also clefable will learn attack fast attack uh, pound which is rubbish do not even bother doing that because uh, fair wind is much better in my opinion but you can have a pound clefable uh, for future i mean future tournaments or whatnot i don't know if the move get buffed yeah you'll be thinking oh i forgot to do that anyway flygon will learn the earth power charge attack when you when flygon get evolved and salamence also will attack um salamence will learn outrage as a charge attack that's another good thing as well as nothing other than the best metagross will be you can evolve a matang to a metagross and you'll be getting meteor mash this is one of the best ones good for uh master league uh any leagues to be fair like you can just make sure you get for each leagues, Ultra League, Great League, all of that, make sure you get a Meteor Mesh uh, Metagross. It will help you out in your Go Battle League. And uh, Rosa Raid also gets the Weather Ball as a charge attack, as well as Bullet Seed as a fast attack. If you evolve it from uh, Rosalia during the um, event to get to Rosa Raid. And yeah, if you. This is another thing. Um, Licky Licky is the uh, evolution from Licky Tongue. All right, if you evolve a Licky Tongue during this event, you'll be able to get a charge attack called Body Slam. It's quite OP. It's also, if you guys can get one, that would be nice. These are the featured attacks, by the way. So these are like specially done for this Global Go Fest. So make sure you guys can utilize it. All right, and Field Research Bonanza. Okay, on Saturday, 26. Trainers will be able to collect field research tasks from Pokestop each hour from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So field research tasks will be available, ready for raid battles. Oh yeah, all the people I know in this picture. I can see Francesco, we got see Del and Masterful27, Sue, Hermes Ninja, Mr. Waterfalls, and we got Yaya and Aizo there as well. This familiar faces there but i can't remember their names and also you guys can get some new avatar items during this period so make sure you go to the shop and get the avatar items and yeah there's a lot of avatar items stickers and all sort of stuff that right? requires a helmet requires a set the ANSI headphones or oh, the ANSI headphone looks sick though i want to get some of that one and what else we got here um yeah t-shirts and stuff like that anyway so ticket holders exclusive so basically for the ticket holders this is going to be epic 
you can upgrade your Pokemon Go Fest global experience with a paid ticket to unlock the exclusive content, reward bonuses and more. A special research will appear if you have a the ticket, if you have the global ticket and you'll be able to get these beautiful DNC evolved into Mega DNC as well. Um, already got one but it will be epic for you guys to get another one so make sure do not lose out on this and make sure get that one when you can okay this is the best one so far and also there's uh incense encounters as well so in the incense encounter you're gonna get a lot of unknowns a d i m n o all right so those are the ones you're gonna get during this first hour quote terrarium and you'll get a Hisuian Growlithe as well, but it's not going to be shiny, but it's good to get a good one. And on Pirate Sand, you're going to get A, D, I, M, N, O, same thing, but you're going to get Ponyard. Ponyard's going to be shiny as well. And Malachit Wilderness, you're going to get all the unknown, as you can see there. And you will get a Carnivine, and it's one of them regionals as well. And on aquamarine shows you'll be getting pachirisu so this is if you get a hundo on this and make sure you grind hard on for this one make sure you put your um incense 24 7 i believe or maybe 48 hours for the both days all right make sure you grind these pachirisu because it's the canadian i believe canadian alaska i believe up north in usa You'll be able to get it but it will be appearing globally so make sure to get these pachirisu and the excel candy as well so you'll be able to like maximize on that pvp battles and stuff and also exclusive bonuses increased chance to encounter shiny pokemon up to six special traits can be made each day so 12 in total i'm guessing from friday you should be able to make one as well friday uh then fr probably friday your your normal time you'll be able to make a six special trade and s saturday you can make one and a sunday you can make one probably all together 18 i believe because there's going to be glow um go fest on the other world uh like new zealand australia and stuff like that when the go go fest starts you'll be able to make that um special trades i believe level up your elite collector medals oh yeah i need to do that one competing completing habitat theme collection challenge so collection challenge make sure you can get your um collector medals that'll be open to get it up to nine free great passes from spinning a pokedex i mean photo disc at a gym i believe this is just for the whole weekend they didn't mention about each day but if it's each day it's even good I'll love to have free raid passes during this period so and special 7k m eggs if I can get some good Volcaronas in that eggs I'll be happy with that one and new avatar items will be available like I said all these um all these ones are like uh, special for ticket holders obviously the tickets nothing other than 14.99 uh dollars I believe in yeah so make sure if you want to participate make sure you get that one i think that that is it about the go fest but the main thing that you guys need to know on the go fest make sure you farm for your carbink uh primal kyogres um and primal ground on as well as uh, requaza and also make sure every time you do a carbink task and when you catch a carbink you will get dnc mega energy all right so make sure you catch as much as um carbings to get the mega energy also make sure you catch a lot of pachirisu it will be helpful for you guys um uh, for pvp and stuff for the pvp crew other than that this is it pokemon go fest global is coming so make sure you guys be prepared and make sure you get your power bank ready make sure you get your um go pluses ready um yeah so anything that you guys need to have during that period make sure everything's charged up and ready also make sure on the day 
if it's really sunny make sure you get like loads of water and sun cream and also if it's really cold in your areas make sure you wear a big thick coat so it's a global go fest so it's, it's happening everywhere so make sure everyone uh catch all them good shinies and i uh, wish you guys to get more shinies in during this period and also i need to thank a, a lot of people who recently subscribed to my channel thank you so much i appreciate every single one of you guys and thanks for watching all my videos make sure you drop and make sure you do drop a like and and also make sure you uh comment down below so that i know you guys are watching and trying to communicate with me as well so i love to read your comments and reply at the same time so yeah thank you guys appreciate this out peace out